in the last class we have discussed about text shadow so in this class we are going to discuss about the box shadow but in details i know we have just discussed about this in the previous classes but in this class we are going to see more examples inside this so i have just a diff inside this container and a class this called ccb you can copy this dot ccb and open curly braces so you can just set the display for this block and you can say the width for this can be 300 pixel and the height for this can be same 300 pixel and the background for this can be white and the border for this can be one pixel solid red and you can just apply here what can you apply let's save this Control s go to your browser and refresh we have just a simple box here i want to just move this in center but with 50 pixel margin from the top set the margin and 50 pixel uh, from the top and auto you can save and refresh now you can see you have 50 pixel of margin from the top and this total in center now i want to just uh, apply some box shadow here simply write box dash shadow and the first pixel seven pixel for left to right or horizontally the second pixel is bottom to uh, top to bottom or bottom to right it's called vertically the y value and this the x value this the y value and the third pixel is the blur of shadow and you can set the color red you can save and refresh you can see we have just a simple red color and it's just a shadow and the direction is left to right and top to bottom you can see and we have just already how you can just change the direction of this shadow to the opposite side save and now you can see this just to the opposite side but this is not a big deal we are going to see more examples here so let's just change the color to something blue save and refresh you can just increase the pixel of this shadow 12 pixel 12 pixel 12 pixel save and refresh you can see so here i'm just going to use what if you want to apply this shadow inside this box now it is outside of this box so i want to just apply this shadow inside of this box so for applying the shadow inside the box you need to use the insert property insert means inside you can see now we have the shadow inside you can see and you can just change the direction of this shadow from here if you want you can just apply you can play with all this thing you can see the direction is changed uh, we are just going to use a border radius here border radius of 50 percent you can save and refresh now you can see we have just a border radius just total round and the shadow is just automatically fixing or just applying around this box so you can just put the two first value on zero pixel this one also on zero pixel and this one you can just set something like 50 pixel to black save now you can see you have the shadow around this circle but inside this box if you want to just outside you can remove this inset from here Control x save now this outside of this box so uh, let's just change the background color to something gold and you can save this come here uh, refresh let's change the color to maybe red color red save and refresh now you can see it's just looking something like uh, maybe a sun but if we use here something like uh, different pixel i'm just using here one centimeter 
and zero pixel by zero pixel and the color is red now what you can see it is just something like the moon but it is outside you can just set this inside by applying this one insert property save and refresh if we remove the background color once background gold i'm just going to cut this and save now you can see it is just the shape of the moon you can see so you can just increase the centimeter amount for example two centimeters save and refresh you can just increase or decrease this so the main point is that you can move the shadow inside or outside if you are using the insert property the shadow will come and appear inside your box inside the box and if you are using without insert property the shadow will appear outside of the box so this is just the point so other things are just easy you can apply border radius you can just use centimeter you can just say but you cannot use percentage here one for example 20 percent i've just applied here you can save and refresh so you can see this is not working so first i forgot to tell you and you can just use in centimeter and pixel whatever you want you can just use here just like this so i hope you understand and you have enjoyed watching this video so like always uh, just before moving to the next lecture or before moving to the next class uh, try to watch the previous video and do practice try to concept the, uh, try to clear the concept uh, it is just better for you so have a nice time and see you